It's BBC Podcast again. You tap it in with your boy Tunchi. I got my boy JP right here. We got another late night show with some lovely ladies. And before we start, I uh, want to make sure to go over, keep an eye on the channel. Uh, we're starting to take our two hour, one hour segments and cutting them down for people who don't have time to watch the whole two hour segments. We'll get the four of the best, like five to six minutes and break it down so that way you guys catch the good stuff and don't miss out and like, having to fast forward all the long videos. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out the merch. All right. Hand it over to the ladies now. Introduce hi, yourself, hi, name, Laura. age. I am 27. And my relationship status, I will say it's complicated. Like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but like, yeah. it's a situation ship. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but like, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. And my name is RC. I am 33, and I am single, sadly, but single. Sadly. <laughs> okay, we got to get the story behind that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I definitely got two big stories behind that. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we'll roll the dice. Who's going first? We want to hear... Paper, rock, scissor. Here rock, we go. Paper, scissor. There's two out of three. Two out of three, so you okay, get... Okay, okay. <laughs> Why you do this? Y'all are off. Uh, one more. I lost. Uh, yeah, you lost. It's supposed to be one, two, so three, not one, two, right, three, four right. and a half. So I see. Gonna go first. Let's <laughs> let's hear it. What? Yeah, let's hear those two stories. She said two, right? Yeah. Okay. So I was married for seven years. Seven years. Seven uh, years. Faithfully. I was very faithful to my marriage. Stop the cap. And you sure. No, I was. I was not big. once, not tempted once. Uh, right. Towards the end, I okay. messed towards up my relationship. End. She licked okay. her lips like, I don't know. <laughs> so, was it at the end you don't count it because you were mentally checked out? I was mentally checked out. Okay. So that I was wanted to feel what he did and why he did it. Okay. I yeah. wanted to do what he did. So, what satisfaction did it bring to you? Nothing, Nothing. actually. <laughs> like no. it was to me it was like, why did you cheat on me? Because I did yeah. it to you, and I mean. Did you think it was going to bring you some satisfaction? Actually, no satisfaction, but what do you, how do you say it? It was like um, the chase of the moment. Like, it was so much fun. Okay, like, okay. So, like, the, okay, the, like, the, the, the thrill of getting of the caught? It was or so Was it like fun. the thrill of getting caught? The or? So, tell me, the guy that you chose, is this somebody that was already well, always The guy always that I you? chose, no. So, are you knocking at their like, back door? Like, hey. You want to know something crazy? Something crazy. I'm saying this. I went to Vegas, and uh -huh. I told my husband at the time, you know what? You and I ain't going anywhere. And he looked at me, he's like, <laughs> you ain't going anywhere. Oh, sure. Went to Vegas. Yeah. This guy happened to have a pizza box. And he was checking out the girls that we went to The Bachelor with. And he was talking to me, and I looked at him and go, I've seen you before. He goes, you've never seen me. I go, I think I've seen you in my apartments. He looks at me and goes, I don't think so. Long story short, we exchanged numbers. Mm. He was my wall neighbor. My so master really bedroom connected seriously. to his That's kitchen right. apartment. That's crazy. Talking about a small world. That's and super. we still <laughs> both worked at UPS. For wow. real? <laughs> he was my UPS driver. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting. All right. Interesting. All right, all right. <laughs> but I was very faithful to my marriage. And I'm going to tell you that I got fat in the marriage. Like, you know, every other woman. So would you say, not, not somebody would you say you just got comfortable? Yeah. I got very comfortable. Okay. And... I, I can't say I don't know why he cheated on me, but he did. Mm. Until this day, he still comes back running and says he still loves me. But I'm like, why now? You faithfully had me. But why is that? You don't think he can't get he can't get new girls or what? He's a good looking guy. He so had ten he women while he was cheating on my ass. So why do you think he comes back? Because I cheated him the best. Mm. Okay. Mm. We're real Mexican. I'm a real Mexican woman. I will cook, clean, feed you, take care of you. I maybe look. I people are like, oh, you're so white. Mm, not when I cook in the So would you say you're more traditional type? I'm very traditional. Okay. I was very traditional with him. Mm. I mean, I stuck it out for nine years to, in total. Okay. With cheating and... It was the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I got twins out of it, but... Oh, good? Okay. So sad. Men are men. I'm not going to say that women are not the same. I feel like we all make mistakes in this world, but there's a lot of do's and don'ts. And in a Mexican culture, mm -hmm. I feel that most grandparents sit there and tell you, he's your husband. You got to deal with it. He's your husband. I think that's a lot of old school it. stuff. I think yeah. Like, yeah, like my mom is that way. Hey, like really, really too. Like really, same, really, way, same way. And I couldn't handle it because I'll tell you this. I dealt with it, dealt with it, dealt with it, dealt with it. Mm. And 
when I checked out, I checked out. But would you say it's because his does, did he take care of you like at home? Provide security, take care of the he bills, did. majority of it, stuff like he, that. I was a stay at home mom. But was he more just about the bills and not taking care of you too? He took care of me, but the thing was. But I mean, like mentally, like physically, they take you out on dates. Always told you you look good. And no. like regardless, okay. No. That's why I he just made everything. That's where guys yeah. fail yeah, all the time. Yeah. They always think because they're paying the bills and they're not taking care enough. of the woman. They they. That's, that's, they, that's, that's where they mess up. That's where they mess right. up. You're totally right. You're totally right. Because of I because of not honestly like deep down you gotta tell yourself like if. What your family was telling you, like, hey, look, I know he went and, like, messed with that girl, like that, but he loves you and takes care of you. If he was taking care of home, he would have had a very better edge that you would have tolerated more shit. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then you wouldn't have the thought of stepping out or yeah. even thinking about it. Well, my thought of stepping out was I wanted to feel what Heath felt. Yeah, yeah, but you wouldn't have had that if he was taking care of his business. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You said so, you had two stories. Yeah, the story is this is this a story after the? Well, no, that was the first story I think. Okay. Like, cause like women don't realize that we stick around our marriage just because of our kids. Mm -hmm. No, a lot. We've got yeah. a lot of girls come on the panel and they yeah. say that they literally come on here talking shit about their guy and we'd be like, damn, like, why well, are you with I don't want to talk bad about <laughs> him, but I feel like if he actually didn't use the excuse of why his parents brought him up the way he did, mm. our marriage wouldn't be like that. His traditional thing was like, oh, my dad did this, my dad did that. And for me, it was like, my mom and dad were half and half. So why did I choose him? I would never understand why I chose him. Mm. I think I liked him because I saw his looks. Like, mm. So you went off appearance first? I did. Mm -hmm. I Everyone even tells me, oh, your ex-husband, he is sexy as hell. Man, people tell you to your face. All the time. I usually see girls don't do Girl, that. Boy, I went to college. That's a lot of nerve, too. <laughs> yeah. have, like, in what? college, That's this girl told nerve. me. That's your husband? God damn, girl. I'm like, oh, shit, that ain't my home girl. That's <laughs> my, oh, I, God. I didn't even want her around my yeah, husband. Yeah, I was not thinking so. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's suspicious. Yeah, mm -hmm. very. That's suspicious. Now, this is where we relate, uh -oh. is don't date in the workplace. No, workplace. Don't ever date oh, oh, yeah, that's a, that's so a soul popper. So, so this, is after, this is after the divorce. Well, after the divorce, I didn't date anyone. I focused on myself. How long did oh, you yeah, wait not before? A year and a half. A year and a half? Year and a half, I lost 55 pounds. I focused okay, on me, so myself, and I. And then I got a job. I didn't care about anybody. Like, she saw me come in and out of work. I didn't care. I looked like crap. I would go with my glasses. No, but you're no going, to work. Yeah, you're going to work. Yeah, you're not going there and there. impress she people handled, and get attention. She did her yeah. business and she went right out. So. I did. I was, I'm a very outgoing person, mm. but I treat you like what you're at work, you're at work, yeah. and my outside life is my outside life. Yeah. And I met this person who was my friend. Hmm. And I was like, oh, I like this. He was a nerd, by the way. Nerd? <laughs> nerd? Is, that, is, that, is that normally your type? No. Okay. But he was a big, big nerd. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't like, oh, my God, I like him. But he's the only person that treated me like a human being. Mm -hmm. Because everyone else is like, damn, girl, you got a big she ass. Like, she's like, like a piece of meat, huh? Like, Heck, yeah. I'll be getting honked. <laughs> I'm like, don't turn back. <laughs> or I'll be t getting told nasty stuff. I'm like, oh, what hell fuck? no. Like, <laughs> At work? Yeah, UPS is thirsty. Do you know what UPS on, stands man. for? Let's Do you know what UPS stands for? What's that for? United oh. Pussy Selection. Damn. Oh my yeah, God! Men yeah. think Would that. Would you agree on that? I never heard. Of <laughs> I thought it was United <laughs> Postal <laughs> Service, but I mean, another one. Like, no, so I don't. I agree to this because, like, there's some fine ass women there. I'm not gonna lie. Fine ass women there. I call her Selena. <laughs> Ask this girl to stand up. I I call her oh Selena for a reason. But there's a lot of fine women there, yeah. and like you be looking at them like, God damn, you look good, girl. Like shit. Yeah, but you I mean, you, you don't have to be. They are some creeps in there. You have to be a creep there, about huh? the shit. Oh, like, just, there's a lot of creeps in there. And let me tell you my work experience. Uh -oh. I had guys bringing me Starbucks, mm -hmm. and they even knew my Starbucks order. It was like weird, like what the fuck? yeah. And my drink is <laughs> just how you like it. Somehow, <laughs> man, they, I saw her have flowers once. <laughs> See, okay, she gets more than I do, so like, I'm kind of a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, but, uh -oh. but uh -oh. dude, like, but she shines when she's in there. Like, she has a bright spirit. Like, I don't, can't even explain. Like, she, you want to talk to her? Like, okay. it's kind of hard. You get good vibes then. I yeah. am. Yes. Okay. I am. And so I am not surprised that you got people giving you all this stuff and everything. But like, she, I see her walking out with flowers once. Damn. Got balloons. Okay. I was just like. <laughs> So all this I didn't stuff. ask for anything. And the, the the person that gave you that stuff, did they're they, different people. Well, the 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 flowers or whatever. He was did, a driver outside. Did you know him for a little bit, or did he know anything about he you? He said or was that like just on some creep shit. Like, hey, I can't say it was a creep shit. I think it was more appreciative for me because, uh -huh. like, he said he would watch me outside 
when I would take that a break. That sounds like some creep shit. Wait, 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 wait. wait. He was okay. She walking out, you just... Mm-hmm. Dude, they... Roll the window down a little bit. They, here, like, you know they mean well. He did. He did. But, like... There's ways of going about it, though. Yeah, there's ways of going about it. I think the gifts it. before the dates yeah. is kind of on some... Eh, it's like, talk to yeah. me. I knew, like, for me, I like to talk to a person yeah. before they give me gifts. It's like red. Yeah, it's like red flags. See, he thing, he would say hi to me yeah. all the time. I'll get you. So, but anybody that's handing out gifts or anything like that, anybody get a date with you at least? Just one person did. One person. Okay. One person. The nerd that you dated, or I dated him for a while. Okay. I did, and so. it was like the worst experience. Oh ever. shit! So what happened with it? I mean. He was my friend, like I said, for mm-hmm. a good time. I mean, this is the the nerd guy. The nerd guy. <laughs> <laughs> we got a class. We don't no, know his no, name, so we got to classify him as nerd guy. guy. Like, okay, so the nerd guy was my friend for a long time, mm-hmm. and I appreciated his friendship. And I think I liked the nerdy guy, but I did like him, mm-hmm. and um, he paid attention to me. Let me say, like in a way where he so knew my favorite you. color. Oh wait, it gets better. Oh, One day, as a friend, I told him, "Oh, I get my nails done on this place," and he's like. Months later, he goes, I, I passed by your nail shop. And I was like, what? He's like, it's by my house. And I was like, oh, <laughs> crap. Yeah. So, and, and that wasn't a red flag? like yeah. No. What? It's like kind of cute. It was very cute. Because you know why? When I went to his house for the first time, Uh-oh. it was legitimately a block away from my nail shop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so I get it. So he can just, I was leaving my But what area. guy pays attention to a girl's nail shop? Yeah, oh. like, like he paid, it's attention to detail. Oh, yeah. he paid attention no, to I like you, I, I can let these appreciate that stuff. It's yeah. just good memory. Mm-hmm. The okay. memory of a guy paying attention to a woman is like a turn on for us. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. mean, it means a lot because he's paying attention to you. That's yeah, like, like, yeah, he's like paying it. to every, everything that I'm sitting, coming out of my mouth, he's definitely paying attention. Okay. So I had to watch myself. Okay. <laughs> so this experience was probably like, the hardest experience I've ever dealt with out of my 33 years as a female. Mm. Why? Um, I had a very good time within those two and a half or two months, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Um, where'd it go bad? It was where'd it go bad or good? Bad. bad. Like I mean, obviously, obviously you know, it didn't stay good. So well, it didn't. yeah. <laughs> His when we broke up, he said he had one foot in and one foot out. But what caused the breakup? I think his insecurities did. Why? Uh, so give us an example. What brought it up? Well, everyone at work seemed to find out that we broke up. And a lot of people were quick to talk. Oh, try to fill that, pers- mm-hmm. that, that Let position. Let me tell you something. 18 year old RC would have been fighting everyone for making up shit that I supposedly did not say. And 33 year old RC let everyone speak whatever yeah, the fuck what they, they wanted. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. Everyone said so many things I never even said. Mm. and About it, the relationship? Or about yeah. him? About him, about the relationship, everything. Mm. And it got back to him, and I never fought for it. Not once. Not mm. once did I care to be like, protect myself. Because you know why? Mm. Let that shit roll. To me, that's how I felt. Yeah. But um, there was a girl that was involved in the relationship. She seemed to always rat me out for everything I did. Mm. And somebody called it RC 101. <laughs> Basically, she would tell him everything I was doing and what I was not doing. This is how I caught the girl lying. I came up to the girl. She's 20 years old. I'm 33. Mm-hmm. I said, I was trying to mend things out with her. And she's like, yeah, I would never tell him. I threw a lie. To see if she would tell. To see if she'd tell him. Mm-hmm. And the lie came back. Yeah. And when the lie came back, I laughed because that's when I knew she likes him. A person who likes a man will tell him whatever yeah, he wants to hear. Sure. Yeah, definitely. So I said that, and he came back and told his BFF, quote on, oh, wow, she said this about me. And she, I laughed so hard when she told me, because my mom always told me, plant your seed, and you'll find out if the tree grows. Yeah. And that tree grew. Mm. It grew. <laughs> okay. Dating in the work area is not for me. I always tell people yeah, that all the time. It's, I'm not, it's, it's not a good idea. Story. It's messy. It's, always it's like a soap opera. Yeah, like yeah. it's very rare if it works out. Mm. Like you're one of the lucky few, I yeah. guess. But yeah. if it really did work out, like, you know, you are the lucky few. But yeah. it's guaranteed messy all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, it, Art mine was messy. I was trendy <sighs> for four weeks. Oh, my God. Top. It was a season. <laughs> <laughs> season one of oh, RC. Oh RC and homie. Okay. Uh, at the top. I'm not kidding. I had to ask my boss, 
can I go to the back of the area? Because I wanted people to leave me alone. Damn. I was trending so bad. She even noticed, why are you wearing sweats? Leave me alone. <laughs> like, I'm asking you, like, are you okay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the outfit was like, hey, what's going on? Because you, I was like, are she, you in a good like, place like right now? What? Shines. And then, like, she, like, came in, like, raggedy. Like, I was like, what's going on with you? I'm like, what's happening? Oh, man. I'm telling you, this is not the place to be. Yeah, oh, God, no. Oh, no, it gets better. Oh, shit. And then I go to the hospital because I thought my appendix was going to burst. I was having so much pain. Uh-huh. It's fine. Ma'am, you're pregnant. What? Oh, no. Mm. So the, I have a copper nurse? IUD. Uh-huh. IUD. Uh-huh. Copper. They're like, oh, 85% chance. It's not going to last. Whatever. Then that same girl was telling him, oh, she's pregnant by someone else. But I'm like, mm. oh, my God. Mm. So I'm trending. Not only am I trending at work, I'm a whore because I was fucking another a supervisor. And I'm like, what? And you didn't even know you did it. No. Nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> really like, but- Let's just say 60-year-old really women were involved. You had 20-year-old women involved. Six, you had man. the middle-aged what women the involved. That's what I'm saying. I'm it like was that. difficult. Like, UPS, if you were for airport of UPS... Just know that there's seasons in there. That's just like I hit season patty one, patty. and it was not the easiest season of my life. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. Let's not date in the workplace. So, no, how about we turn it up idea. to the missus right here. What's your, be, be, besides your situation you have right now, let's talk about previously. Previously. What's the last relationship? Last? Um, I don't know if I could call it a relationship, because, like, at this point, I heard so much by... All these other, like I said, dating at the workplace is really messy. Mm-hmm. And I hear so much about this, like, person. Like, I found out that this person never really cared for me. And I'm the one that developed actual feelings for him. How long were you together? Oh, off and on, four years. Damn. Damn. Off and on for four years. And, um... And that's what that's what made me think that I was dating this person and that I was in a relationship with this person because of how long we've been doing this dance, I guess. So mm-hmm. like it's just <laughs> But like yeah, it's just crazy. And I was just like but it turned out that he never really saw it as anything. I was just So you were in a relationship by yourself. Uh, yeah, and that's what I, I was oh, wow. it was in my head this whole time. So that's, that's why nice. I said So you never confirmed it with him? Like uh, hey, we one? I tried to He avoided it, it was it, like it was weird. Like every time I try to talk about this, he avoided it. Like answering a question like mm-hmm. earlier. But like, why did Ben avoid it? That's the question. Because so, he doesn't want to tell her. And most guys like mm-hmm. try to leave it. It's closed on her end, but I'm gonna see. Di- I'm gonna see girls open on my end, and they don't tell you mm-hmm. when they should tell you. Yeah, like like I said, like she's going on the whole time thinking that what it is, and she, it's not. Like he's just not. Pretty much his game ain't tight enough to be in there because if you'd have told her, I'm sure you would probably would have left. Yeah. So like you but have like, to. Yeah. Like I said, it w- didn't even start it off great either. So mm-hmm. I had to like I had to admit to that it didn't even start it off great. It's not even a red flag. Like, why'd you yeah, say that? Yeah, like, because Girl, with me, red rose is not a red flag. I know. The thing <laughs> is, I was young. I was naive. I was a lot bigger. I was like almost 310. At the time, really? Damn, you I lost know, a lot of weight. Like, That's you guys crazy. Don't oh, shit, it. No, you guys don't believe it. I wouldn't even. Man, I wouldn't even thought that. Give us a turn. No, like, should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give the yeah, yeah, views, subscribe, yeah. yeah. give us some inspiration. Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but like, if you put in that work, yes. she did. She put a lot of work into it. So I used to be three ten, very, very really? insecure of myself. I have to admit, I was a very insecure would have thought. Real quick, how long? How long did it take you to drop all the weight? Right now, I'm on my third year okay. of losing Damn, weight. That's good. And that's good. Uh, that's yeah. that. I'm 168 right now. So, okay. yeah, that's, that's like, good, though. Good. Yeah, yeah, I was like, three times. She is the Selena of UPS, by the way. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, She's like, stop, stop, okay. keep going. So, so, so. She wears her tight pants with like. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yes, let's see that. <laughs> she wants that waist to be known. <laughs> Y'all, the walk go, the walk go. Yeah, so like, it didn't start off great. I was very insecure. Okay. I was okay. So this is before you lost the weight, though. Yeah, this is okay, before okay. I lost yeah. the weight. Um, I was cool with him cheating on somebody, and people honestly, because you feel like you didn't have the self esteem for yourself, so you're just kind of taking what yeah, you, you, okay. yeah, like I have to admit that I have to confront that Her part. Face like, is like, 
Galaxy. Hey, she's being honest. That's what yeah. we like. Here. I can't be mad. I mean, hey, the guy that I cheated on my ex-husband with was married, and so was I. But yeah, mm. but like, it, you I have like to, to hear the people's perspective. Yeah. The one thing I do believe in is holding yourself accountable. Yeah, for sure. And don't 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 lie about to yourself because like, ain't nobody out there is gonna really tell you the truth. Yeah, for sure. yeah. and for besides sure. you, mm. so like. Yeah, like, I was insecure, and I was okay with him mistreating me. Mm-hmm. And that was my fault. Mm-hmm. Like, it was 100% my fault for being okay with that. Mm-hmm. And um, and because I wanted him to feel the pain that I was feeling, mm-hmm. I said that I was sleeping with other people. Because he was, he was sleeping yeah. with other people, too. Yeah. Okay. And I wanted, I know it would hurt him, because he never thought that I would do something like mm-hmm. that. So mm-hmm. I said. Even though you weren't? No. Most men think mm-hmm. we will never do anything until we do okay. it. Oh, no, but like, sure. yeah, but like, just to hear it, I know words hurt. Yeah, words sure. hurt. I know, the idea especially the, the right word. Yeah, yeah. So like, I knew that was gonna be the right button to push okay. to get him to feel the way I feel because he was like, I wanted to confirm the relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, are we dating? Are we not? Mm-hmm. And then, since you're not gonna confirm it, and I know you're sleeping with all these people. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say like, I'm sleeping with people too. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. so how did he take that? Oh, he's like, and then it, uh, to me, it looked like it didn't even phase him. Really? In the moment. In, in the moment. Oh, okay. In the moment. It looked like it didn't even phase him. So I was like, okay, that was a failed plan. Like, <laughs> I was well, like, that shit didn't work. <laughs> I was like, I, yeah. well. Don't remind mm. the crowd how ugly Uh-oh. he was. Oh, oh, so he was, this was, oh no, my uh, God. Like, I don't he wasn't a looker, let guys. Let me just say this. One day he came up That's to my area and he's like, oh, I need to give you an ID number. I'm like. Thinking to myself, this guy must be English or something because he <laughs> ugly with an accent. I mean, did we forget to say how ugly he was? <laughs> Listen, you leave him alone. I know, but just leave him alone. Like, I mean, I get it. I first thought he was like English or something because of the way he spoke. But when she said she dated him, I'm like, excuse me? Did I have my coffee this morning? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like... I'm in shock that all these pretty women have even been with this guy. Like, I, the I, hell? I, but the th- in his defense. <laughs> <laughs> he's in charming. De- in, de- in my defense, he's a really good talker. He does have the gift of the gab. Like, yeah. he, like, honestly, he made me feel good. And, like, it, was, it sucks to say that because that was one of the things why he said that I was, I liked him so much because he's like, oh, because I make you forget about your problems. Mm. And mm. I was like, okay. damn, and that hurt. That mm. hit hard. Mm. And that was like yeah, a tick off. But the yeah, thing yeah. is, like, I was so shocked that I had this much patience for a person for four mm. years, putting mm. up with, no, you're not good enough. Or like, to me, I used to go, like, I wasn't good enough to be his girlfriend. I wasn't good enough to do this. I wasn't good enough to, God forbid anybody knew. But I had, we had all these problems, and I've been trying to talk to him, and we never really talked it out. I was going to explode, man. Mm. And I had to talk to somebody. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, mm. I had to talk to somebody, and then I talked to one person, and it felt great. Mm. And this is where it starts getting messy. I started talking to people in the workplace about it. Mm, okay. Like, what should I do? Because, like, I don't have any, like, good role models to look at okay. like a good relationship model okay. so it was struggle it was a struggle like to understand what is self-respect in a relationship mm. like if i could put it in words yeah, like for sure and like i didn't have a good role model of that and i've been trying to look like i talked to older women i talked mm. to people and it got back to him and mm. It no, was, no to the workplace. Damn, this workplace is just shit. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. For real, for real. It, like, it was insane. So people were like, I didn't even know if I had any friends to actually talk to. So okay. I'm, I'm still going to, but it felt so good to finally let all this out, like mm. whatever I was feeling out and talking to people and all that. They're all, Yeah, they're twisting the story and everything, but like I thought that people could come to me and talk to me yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. But they went to him. Yeah. And then God knows what the, he said. Like, mm-hmm. I don't. But basically, people just don't believe what I said, anyways. Mm. And that's so when, mean. like, I, that's when I hear rumors about myself that mm. I'm a liar. Mm. That oh, I was sound like my story. Yeah, like I was a liar. I'm, 
I'm conniving. Amen. I, I you are, bitch. <laughs> and, so am I. <laughs> and like, I, I just caused trouble and all that stuff. And I was like, and I was, I, it was, I was like, oh, 22. But you have to understand, our workplace isn't just our shift area that knows. You're talking about a 24-hour building that doesn't close. Yeah. So, so another shift. Every another shift. shift would hear about your drama. Damn. Yes. And it was like, oh, did you uh, hear? And then, like, on top of that, I hate to say this, but management will know, too. Like, oh. Oh. and it will go up the ladder, and it will affect you. And it, it, it does. It really does. Yeah. Remember when mine got to management? Oh! <laughs> it was horrible. Oh, God. So I used to work in this area called Small Sort mm. for UPS, which is small packaging. Yeah. She used to be the supervisor there. Mm. But when it got to management, he moved us all. Well, for So the guy I was dating got moved to her area. Mm. And <laughs> then like, they thought it would be a better thing to move me her area too mm. we all got moved the, mm. all the drama got they move moved. you around without realizing what they're doing but mm. everyone knows your business yes, yes. They, it's like let me wipe my ass let me tell you what color it is when you wipe it <laughs> because they're so watching bad. you it's suffocating yeah. it's very suffocating oh, it's it depressing oh, like it you can't escape your drama and that's mm. why it's not cool to date in the workplace it's not. <laughs> especially yeah. in the warehouse of Ireland. aurora and Arcee, you lying about the thing you're talking about you are <laughs> and, and the worst part was that i confided in an older woman oh shit. i didn't talk about it to anyone until she came up to me one day and hugged me mm. and when she hugged me i cried my eyes out because like I told you, I let everyone yeah. talk about it for yeah. me. And you kept it bottled in. Or I mm. Oh, my God. I bottled it in for four weeks that mm. I feel like when I told that older lady mm. was the worst thing ever because she ran and told him. Not only did she ran and told him, then I had his stepmom messaging me the next morning talking what crap to me. What the? And I was like, thing? yeah. Uh, that was crazy. I liked her. What? I, <laughs> <laughs> I Bro, liked what are you talking about, man? I really appreciated his family, but... I think that's when I cracked, mm. and that's the day that she walked up to me. Mm. And I went to work that day, like thinking, like, how am I going to do this? For some mm. odd reason, are you okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me that question. So you guys are each other's shoulders, pretty much. Yes, yes. Like, well, I already knew her drama was before mine. Like mm. you know, I already I had met her before, but mine was now trending. Hers okay. was like old news. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I she was, was like Fox 11 so, during so, that so time. She was like, I know what you've been through yeah. type thing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So she was yes. considered Fox 11, and I was like Univision, <laughs> Channel 34, because everyone <laughs> wanted to hear the Hispanic shit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it was the uh, worst drama. That's hilarious. So yes. what's up your situation now? My situation now? Well... Currently, like, I call it a situation ship because of all the, there was another situation ship oh. after the, the oh, main okay. one. A temporary stop. Yeah, no. a temporary stop. Oh, okay. look, look at me. That's what I call it. I call it a temporary wait, stop. Wait, wait, wait. Don't be judging my girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're not judging. It's just things over But, like, here. the thing is, I end up growing. Like, I have to admit that I end up growing with a fear of commitment. Mm -hmm. Like, I have mm -hmm. a hard time. So, were you in the mind zone or just, let's just have fun? Yeah, I, I can't say I'm in the mind zone just to have fun. Like, I am definitely yeah. not. Does you? I don't know how to have fun. As I mean, I can have fun, like, having so you get, fun as a person. So you get clingy when you... No, 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 no. I don't... If I'm, like, in... How do I explain this? She... Can you have fun, like, sexually? sexually. Yes, fun? I, I could. Can. I could. Like, I could go without having you fluff up my feelings. Okay, no, and I'm the opposite. Yeah. I, it's not the feelings part. It's just that... I can't fuck you if I don't have an emotional connection. Yeah, see, she's yeah. a, like, what's it called? No? A demi sure? something. It's like no. a demi So I basically, can't. Demisexual, no here, there you go. No one here has had a one night stand? I had a one night stand. Okay. I can't, like, the, I have. She said, oh. No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You saying that for the cameras? No. <laughs> she was like, That's I don't want to say it, but somebody on the show in here and be like, man, I know that girl. I'm, I'm no. going to give me all you guys. Like, <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Like, be in the comments like, no, nah, man. Before, it's like, I know that my friends can be like, go and have fun, but I'm like. Okay, put it this way. You never has sex without communicating with against which one I stand, but have you ever had sex on the first date? No. Sure. I swear. Stop the cap. <laughs> All right. All right, no. Hey, anybody out here recognize their face? Shoot the email bbcpodcast at gmail. I need that. Let us know in the comments. We check them. No, I don't know. Okay. That's my problem. 
that's the thing that everyone always tells me. Go out and have fun. Go out and have fun. But it's, like, it's hard. It's not worth all the hype, especially like for me, okay. like because I have been on a. It's the hype for men. I, ah! I there's there's some there's probably some women it's out nice there that like it, uh, like they could live here. that lifestyle. But like I don't see that for me mm-hmm. personally sustainable. Like for my like. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, because I will like I want to be. Like, Everybody I want wants my to be thing. secure. I want yeah, that be locked I down. Wanna, like give my all to future type to be like you can have a family with somebody locked you don't give you security. Yes, right? you security. and I yeah. want that, uh, but I also wanted the experience of. Okay, what is out there? Like, I don't want to be guessing my whole life. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, the like, you know, if there's something greater out there, and you know what, there isn't. <laughs> like, there really isn't. Like, I'm over the dating scene. Yeah, like I'm <laughs> over the hookup scene. Like, so right now, why aren't you in commitment because right now? I'm right. I'm not. It's because I'm scared. So it's you. It is me. Okay. It's a hundred percent. Does like, he want to though? I don't know, and I I never want to ask. Like, oh, so I, you don't even care to ask. I, what I, what, what I, stops you from she's asking? Like, I'm having too much fun to ask. <laughs> are, so, are you are you seeing are you seeing multiple guys right now? Not currently. I okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me put it this way. Oh, do you have a situation ship and you have options that you're not exercising right now? Mm. Like there's other guys. There's more. You get more than one good morning. Hey, beautiful. Like you get more than one. Get a day. No, guys. I don't. So like no, I just he doesn't really put in much, and which is why I'm like. <laughs> You're not really trying, so I'm not gonna really try. Like, but, the, but you don't have other guys that are trying. I have one, but we already talked about it. Oh, okay. You friend zoned him real yeah. quick. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you f- uh, 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 yep. That uh, means, yeah. Did you did you sleep with him? Uh, 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 oh, sure. so, uh, so is it is it is it one of those like uh, you changed your mind because you slept with or him? Or this was a no, bad idea? No, it wasn't because like. I, I slept with him just for fun because, mm-hmm. like, I was in the scene where I was just like, you know what, I'm just like, let's just have, yeah, fun. Let's have fun. I'm just okay. here for fun. Okay. Not here for long. Yeah. And I was just talking to him like, like I was just treating him how, I I guess I treat myself like I would like with respect. I, like I'm not gonna treat like even though we are sleeping, we're just sleeping yeah. around and everything. I'm gonna still treat. Wait, him. you technically just sleep with him and just snore next to him. <laughs> no, I'm like, listen, you know, I'm like, hold on. She's <laughs> sleeping. So that's all you're doing? But, like, yeah, like, so we have sets and everything, but it, to him, it started developing more. And I was in a situation before where I developed more feelings than the other partner did. Mm-hmm. And so I had to, I tried to cut it off as soon as possible. So like, you had your wall, like, walls. Yeah, like, I was like, listen, we had to end it now. Cause like right now where you're going, I I, I can't defend you and can't save you from yeah. there. Like yeah, uh-huh. you're gonna end up hurting yourself. And I'm trying to do, like tell you we're ending it now. All contacts cut off because like you know I don't want to hurt you. Mm-hmm. Not I don't want you hurting the way I hurt. Okay. So I I cut him off, mm-hmm. but to this day I found oh my god the worst is I found oh in my Gmail documents oh. It was like I was going through my Gmail like like earlier in the month, mm-hmm. and he wrote he had me connected to this document of this whole how much I love you to you. Yes, girl. I ne- oh, I'm sorry I didn't ever uh, told you this, but like, <laughs> oh man, I love you, Aurora. <laughs> and he's like, I want to like love my face you in your. And do all this. <laughs> it was it's here. By all means, out of, like if we oh, just like shit. if we were in a relationship and if we, we were like die hard for each other like that, mm. it was cute, okay. But like, but it wasn't die hard. You were like, whoa, whoa. And she was, was like, I just like, wanted to sit on your face. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, so sounds like she was being the man in this relationship. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, so, like, she her biting her tongue like, oh, yeah, like, yeah. like I'm not saying anything, but like yeah, he's like how much I love you, da 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 da, and I was like you're like the most wonderful person. And I like I loved it, it was great, but that's not what I want for him. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I don't want this person that is like I am his life, like. I yeah. am the only thing in your life yeah. that is like. So not right now because like you weighing your options, you got this thing. Yes, going on. she belongs like, to the streets. He was a bit young, uh, like he was like. He was like to me, four years is a little too young for me. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that I don't was, mind. That, that was I have an age gap that I don't mind. Like four years is a bit too young for me. Oh, like, he's four years younger than you. Yeah. Oh. Mm, yeah. Okay. So the I'll maturity just, is the pain. 
probably off. Yeah, like, I have a, there's, like, there's no, a sweet spot. No, that makes spot. sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, like, there's a sweet spot, and, uh, like, uh, that, he was for, uh, like, he was just too young, and I was like, okay, I don't want to. wasn't too young to touch? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, oh, my God. No, don't. Surprise, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> See, that, <laughs> that, that leads to my question. Does the age of a man matter? Yes. Yes. I learned that the hard way. Yeah, the what, hard what, way. What's yes. your age? Well, I said I've always liked guys like five years older than me. Older? And, uh-huh. Yes. Older? Seven. And I did date. Seven? Mm-hmm. I did date men older than me. I did. Mm-hmm. I even married a man older than me. So that's preference. That's for you. But the guy I decided to date in the work year was five years younger than me. And that made a huge difference. Why? Immaturity. Mm-hmm. People were easy to tell him stuff about me. He would believe it. I mean, I never even got a real chance. So pretty much his mindset ain't there. It's yeah, his mindset like, wasn't there at all. I mean, I was a liar from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, this is. It's that's like wait, 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 wait. What did I lie to you about cussing the, the manager out? Because I cussed her little fat ass out, looking linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 you damn well know who you are. <laughs> it is. Oh, okay. So, for either of you guys to answer this first, which is it about, or what is it about a man, like, the first thing that you notice that, like, this is the guy that's either going to be boyfriend material or just, now nah, like, I'll just sleep with this dude? Emotional awareness. Like, just awareness in general of yourself and how... Like, like I don't know how to explain it. Like, just like what you're saying. Like, are you paying attention to what's coming uh, out of your mouth? Like, well, let me say this because the last guy I dated, which was you know who, was very emotional with me, and not only was he affectionate, loving, I was like, dang, I can see this in the future, but he was telling the whole workplace I meant nothing. Oh, so to him, yeah. so to me, it was like, oh, we're going places. Mm-hmm. Who takes you on a trip? pays attention to the likes you like, mm-hmm. who buys you flowers, who buys you three pairs of shoes for your birthday. Mm-hmm. But you tell the whole workplace, she means nothing. So who's you picking up a sign for? What is the point of that? Yeah, damn. That makes no sense. So to me is, now when I listen to a guy, I don't want to just hear how you emotionally treat yeah, me. You need, you need the walk more than the talk. I want, yeah, yeah. I want the walk. Okay. And not only yeah. that, I also want to hear what your future goals are. Mm-hmm. Because if you're making minimum wage, boy, go back to it your mama to, house. That has to be a goal. Get your, I mean, get, I mean, get back to, because then you're going to be. Minimum wage did go up. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> not like that. What do you want me to do? Cook, clean, and cook for you like your mama did? Because oh, I'm not about to do oh, all that. Shit. No, no, no. Uh, we live in a world today where half and half means half and half. You want me to go outside and cut the yard with you? I'll do that shit with you. Don't expect me to wash your damn laundry and still put it away. So half and half. I be- Well, my parents are half and half, and I want half and half of a man. Okay. I, know, like, I don't I want a man where it's like, oh, my brakes are not working. Let me go take it to a pet boys. Okay. No, no, so no, no. no. Baby, let me it. help because yeah. I know how to change those brakes too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like so so if someone breaks into the house, this time I'll handle the business. Next time you'll handle the business? Oh, I know how to handle the business. I'm just, I'm like, Daddy taught me how to get into the hood. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cause, like, because I come from a traditional home. But mm-hmm. my mom, my dad wants traditional ways. My mom isn't very traditional. She's very independent. So. She's like pretty bossy. Or but, no, she's not bossy. She, she, wears, like, she wears the pants. No, That's my mom. Don't be talking about hers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Like, my no. mom tells my dad what underwear he could wear. Oh, Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Damn. No, like, it's just like. That's crazy. She sees it as 50-50, and my dad sees it as roles that yeah, we have roles. to play. Yeah, roles. Yeah. And I personally don't agree with it. I, like, it doesn't work. prefer? I prefer 50-50, because, mm-hmm. like, my dad also taught me how to change my own tires, change mm-hmm. clean my oil. Like, do, mm-hmm. not clean my oil, change my oil. Say, oh, your oil. Can I help you clean your oil? No, no, say, that's, that's a new one. I haven't heard that. Like, how, do oil? Oil, <laughs> <laughs> how do you clean oil? How do you clean oil? Oh, my God. But, like, he, like, we were, he was telling me, like, basically, we had to, like, do it ourselves. Like, when, it, like, when no one's around, who else is going to do it for you? You. So, I, he, even he taught me to be independent. But he still wants me to do the traditional roles, and that was just like, it's weird. But fifty fifty is like your ideal want, situation. Yeah, ideal situation. Like, I mean, we live in an era today where fifty fifty is considered fifty fifty. If not, why are women working? 
why are women going to school? Why are women making more money than I some men? I think more women are just taking the little boss role, and mm-hmm. a lot of, a lot no, of no, men no, don't no, like. No, 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 no. Let's just be honest. Being though. that boss bitch, men can run this world, oh, but men, women make this world go round. Why? We give life, not only that. Yeah, that's obvious. We cook, clean, and all that other stuff. Not I mean, men can do, do it. Not all, but do some that. women will. D- I mean, you're right. Now, yeah. nowadays, yeah. less women do it. But uh-huh. Go ahead. No, it's just. No, it's true. No, it is no, true. No, no, like, it's very not true. me. I mean, we're not yeah. talking about I'm like Latina. I'm Honestly. talking about the majority, <laughs> not yeah. the single. Yeah, like, I think that we cut. It's supposed to be 50 50 because we want to be part of this. Yeah, you want to be part That's of it, but, it, but it has to be all the way, just not when it just benefits you. Like yeah. I said, like like when you said, like somebody breaks into the house, like obviously you're going to get up and just like looking for the sound. The man's supposed to get up, grab his weapon, whatever it is, and go downstairs to the mm-hmm. door and check and see where the hell the noise came from. Mm-hmm. It's not both of you guys, hey, babe, you grab the bat and I'm going to grab this and come out. No, it don't work like that. Like, I'm not going to wake, wake up in the middle of the night, night and be like, babe, go, go, go do that shit. You heard that shit? What the fuck? Equality. Like, like you, said, like, <laughs> you said 50 50. Go down there and get that motherfucker. Like, what the it's, hell? It's so, there's so much gray area in that. Like, it's something that is like a really great, big gray area yeah. where. We're still defining what is. Yeah, but majority of the time, like you guys go, even no matter no matter how many years you go, like you guys together, and say you guys together five six years, yeah, there's women that'll be like, yeah, I don't mind, I'll pay the bill sometimes too, but yeah, that's like a twenty eighty. Your man mm-hmm. is supposed to pay the bill majority of the time. Like he goes out, like he's supposed to, like you said, like she had her breaks are done, she's supposed to change them herself. That her is man's very supposed true. to take, take care of that. that is very so, true. And I if can't and deny if that. yeah, and if you're in a relationship like that's where wait wait wait, let's go back to that topic. You uh, think a man should always pay for the bill? I do. You do? Cause I fight I with I fought with my ex. Like I, I would, do. I I even told the waiter, pick a damn card. Especially if and I then, ask oh you out. Oh my god, I have a funny story too about that. Like, if I ask you um, out, then yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna ask you out. See, then I'm like, independent too. The bill so comes, and so I'm so like, hard for me to be <sighs> to man. exactly. Yeah. So oh <laughs> you gonna take god. care of this this time? Mm-hmm. Like, no, no, oh, yeah, I would good. just ask you. We sleeping together? <laughs> <laughs> like so, if I pay for this, no, I'll be like split the bill. No, uh, but uh, like realistically, like yeah. like if she's if the dude's on the couch, like looking, like oh, you need your breaks, chance. Damn, hey, where's she? oh she looks on the driveway, sipping his drink and watch you out there changing your breaks. Man, you ain't gonna be with that dude long. Mm-hmm. Like it's a really bum. Out of there. It's a bum. Mm-hmm. So realistically, yeah, it's not. And if I if I couldn't change the breaks for you, I'm gonna take it somewhere to get them changed for you. Mm-hmm. Like, exactly. So yeah, it's one or the other. So like the equality thing, it's it's. It nah, sounds I'll take good. my break to go get changed myself. <laughs> yeah, but it's but where it's at, where it's at is like the traditional role is where it's supposed to be, and I think that's where yeah. it's lost like right now in a lot mm-hmm. in the world. A lot of women also obviously because too a lot of men are pieces of shit mm-hmm. and they break women. You guys have these long stories on traumatizing, getting your bodies back together, and knowing how to bounce back from coming through shitty relationships. So it makes you get more independent. So you're like, I don't need nobody, which is yeah. cool. That, you're that, right. that, yeah, like, like that so is like I would yeah, like the same way I would want any of my daughters to do the same thing too. Like not depend, but know when the right man is there to submit to the right man. Not yeah, just sub- don't just don't submit taught. to anybody. Yeah. That's something that I was raised on long like but Yeah, like that's something that I actually was raised on something like that. It's just She's in deep thought. That, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Oh, you know, I don't know like, about committing. <laughs> like, I lost all commitments. It's just like the fear, like uh-huh. because I was raised that way, where I'm supposed to be independent and submit to someone that is worthy enough to submit to. Uh-huh. Like it's it's kind of hard because the world is full of shitty people. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. like it's just, and then like it sucks because like when you give people these chances especially men, because they build themselves up. Mm-hmm. Like, they always tell you, oh, I am not like this person. I, yeah. This is Everyone says I'm, they're different. Yeah, Everyone yeah says they're they're everybody's always different. always going to say something. Everyone has that commercial, they advertise the same uh, shit. Yeah. Let me hear shit. this. I am so different. <laughs> or the guy says, I'm private. Motherfucker, everyone goddamn knows your goddamn business. And you private? <laughs> no, nah, I'll tell you how you know to do this private. Do this private, he don't have social media. Mm-hmm. That's how you know to do this private. I met a guy like that once. Mm-hmm. I don't have social media. It's like rare. You don't have social media. Yeah, I don't have social media. And honestly, that was probably like the funnest relationship I had. Because yeah, it's not right. out there in front of everybody. Oh, no, like he, he's living in the moment. Not the guy that has social media and doesn't post for years. No, 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 no. <laughs> nah, he's using that to spy You shit. are <laughs> the <character laughs> shit. Uh-huh. That's he's that guy that had the rentals roll down that you said like, was watching uh-uh, you. baby boy, you archiving that. Uh-huh. We know. <laughs> <laughs> boy, bye. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Stay in your lane. 
All right. Do you guys, either one of you, well, both of you, but whoever wants to take it first, do you prefer the nice guy or the asshole? And why? Yeah, and why? Personally, I like the nice guy. Like, really? Yes. Like, what are your reasons behind it? <laughs> I don't know. It's not the case. You like, sure? Because a lot of girls say nice that, guys. but then when they get the nice guy, they treat him like shit and run all over. Oh, yeah. They're like, you got assholes are assholes because like, it's not what you expect. But I'm not going in thinking that this person is like always going to be nice. Like, there is a limit to you. So, even like, let's say, but you'll take the nice guy, like, you guys are out on a date and somebody. Say, like, you stepped on somebody's shoe by accident, and they look, like, oh, man, you know what, fucking bitch, and they tripped you out, and, and you look at him like, you're not going to stick up for me? And he's like, oh, you just stepped on his shoe, babe. Watch out, come over here. Like, he's he's no, a nice guy. Like, okay, like, that is different. Like, no, it's like. The I nice see- guy goes all the way through. You can't cut it in half. Oh, my God. You like, can't cut him in half. He's either true. you better take the asshole that knows how to treat you right. So what you want? Damn, so don't get me alone. I was though. married to the asshole. Uh-huh. Do I want another asshole? Hell no. Uh-huh. But I dated the nice guy. And do I want another nice guy? Hell no. <laughs> okay. so, so which would you take? Prefer? None. <laughs> Zay is There's female. Two, two guys left <laughs> on earth. There was an asshole and a nice guy. Which one would you pick to be with? In reality? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're not living in the moment. Uh, not in the metaverse. See, like I that's why I say I want to choose the nice guy. Okay. Because so I nice guy. Really? You'll take the nice I guy? will want to live mm-hmm. in peace. Mm-hmm. I don't want to like be fighting or like arguing or uh-huh. just like Something, just a little thing that will piss him off. Like I don't want to, I don't want to deal with yeah, that. Yeah, my ex husband was the asshole. He was ready to fight everyone. It was like seeing. I can see that's overload. Like like I don't even like, like to be out with public with people. You can still be nice and, and the nice stick guy up for was yourself. Pushover. Yeah. Nah, yeah. see, like, but I. Think I mean, he was a pushover with insecurities. But still yeah. a pushover. But then again, all I dated was quote nice guys. So I never really mm-hmm. had experience dating an mm-hmm. asshole, mm-hmm. and I. Kind of am don't want to like. Okay. I mean, the asshole's nicer in different aspects. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> or you can say funner um, in a different experience. Okay. Yeah. Funner in different experiences. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what you need, Aurora. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give it a chance. Because <laughs> you ain't gonna want to be watching Batman or Harry Potter every time. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Didn't you say you was dating a nerd though? <laughs> no, you can't talk to and the nerd I was dating took me to um, a San Diego Padres game wearing a freaking Harry Potter goddamn shirt. What that is the, an, okay. That on, is really. Man. I, I mean, he looked he looked fine as hell. But God what? damn, <laughs> Harry Potter boo! Bro, what are you talking come about? On. Man? <laughs> come on, man. Harry oh, Potter. Some people rock with it. It's like. okay, Aurora. You work with him like three times a week. <laughs> Listen, I'm a nerd. So, like, I'm a bit nerdy, so I'm okay with the nerds. I actually... She ain't nerdy when the 6 9 comes in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, literally when the 6 9 comes in. Oh, yeah, my God. Baby. Okay. So uh. <laughs> like, but, yeah, I personally like the nerdy guys. Like, that's just... My jam because that's he's like, is this how you like your clitoris? <laughs> no, stop! Oh my god, he's yeah, not even like that. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> am I doing it right? <laughs> he's moving his glasses. <laughs> oh my god, leave, leave my people alone. Getting right? fogged up while he's down there. Am I in the right hole, Aurora? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh man. She said, oh, yeah. oh my god. She said nerdy. I had to put it out there. <laughs> no, I was like <laughs> She just puts post-it notes down there so he could read the notes. She's like, <laughs> down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Arrows <laughs> going <laughs> down <laughs> the spot. <laughs> oh my god. Find the oh, hole. But like, I personally oh, like man. nerdy people, but like that's because that's something that I've been into growing mm. up and no bad boy look? I don't like I, I liked <laughs> only one bad boy oh. in high school. And then, like I said, it been big. Those are fine as hell, but it makes me question, like, what can I do to you? (laughs) Oh, my God. I see you so bad. My mentality is bad. All right, let's let's run to the next. Say, like, you guys are in the workplace. Obviously, this probably won't work in the workplace. So, UPS guys, don't try this (sighs) shit. UPS Um, works. (laughs) Outside of work, what's the best... Conversation starter or pick up line that you've ever heard? Depending where we're, the, where we're at in the atmosphere. So if I'm at a bar, I'm like, hey, is that drink good? Even though I know the drink. Yeah. 
I'm not shy with men. Okay. I'm gonna say that right now. I'm not shy. I will go up to a guy. And so, talk so to what's the what's the pickup line that you won't ignore? You're like, oh, man, this dude, like, like what's first of all, I'm gonna look at a guy and just see if his shoes are clean. If his shoes aren't clean, get shoes. The f- Damn, she old school. No. <laughs> I want shoes, teeth, shoes. looking shoes. clean. If okay. they ain't clean, get away <laughs> the from fuck me. Fuck out here. Okay. Ain't no way my tongue about to touch those goddamn teeth that didn't have all that. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. Like I do, I do look at your teeth. I like. Okay. I need to see you smile. All right. A pickup uh, line. You're asking for a pickup line. Yeah. Mm. I don't like when a, a guy tells starter, me like, like beautiful. Don't talk about my appearances. So yeah, no, yeah. so no physical, no compliments. No physical, no, because you know why? Everyone does that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. To me, it's like okay, we're, you're just going for sex. Like just yeah. say something. Oh, what are you drinking? Or what is that perfume you're wearing? I can take that. But if you mm. talk about appearance, I'm out of here. All right. I'm the done. Thing, the thing is, like, the only compliment I probably will take about my appearance is my you outfit. You have a fat ass. <laughs> Girl? <laughs> yeah, like, that's, like, <laughs> something I hear all the time. Like, damn, you have a nice ass. And I'm like. We know. it's And then booty makes the boys cry. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's just, like. So your outfit. Yeah, my outfit. Like, like, oh, my God, I like how you did this, this, this. It's a really nice outfit. Or I like how you did your makeup. Like, that's the only thing that I probably will take with the appearance. Or my hair. That I will take, too. She's like, let me pull the hair back, girl. (laughs) (laughs) Stop. It probably look better in a ponytail. Oh, my goodness. That's around my wrist. Oh, my goodness. I'm like the man that she needs, though. (laughs) Stop it, <laughs> but like, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, how long does it take for like when you look at a guy to know that you're gonna have sex with him? It takes me like I need to talk to you first. Like, if you can hold a conversation, you can't. I can't. so five minutes if you can just yeah, yeah. five minutes. God damn, girl, <laughs> are you? <laughs> hey, she I do the keep it real. Keep it real. I, I like that. Oh, okay, keep it real. Okay. I did the God damn, song, like, I, I don't even know. I just to look at them. Like, am I sexually attracted to you? If I'm not, I'm not. What tells you? I mean, what tells you that you're sexually attracted? What does he have to have? He has to be a certain height. For like, sure, a certain body, height. Body, yeah. body build type. She knows oh that. yes, definitely. facial hair, like, non-facial can't... hair. Like, I don't care. If I have a height problem. Like, I want a guy to either be five ten and up. Not. Bye. He's like. He's like, oh. Yeah, short okay. guys get no love out here, man. Oh. <laughs> bullshit. What about what about for you? You care about height? Honestly, she I likes him shorter than me. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't re- here. If you're over here underneath my chin, that is oh shit. A problem. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. But like, if you're but wait, you're wait, underneath with, shoe, with shoes on, or <laughs> with or without shoes. With, with shoes, shoes. <laughs> like, but the thing is, like, I just prefer people somewhere. my height or taller. Uh, I hear I'm five foot four. Okay. If you, as a man, that's five foot four, that is very, very short. Okay. Uh, and um, I don't okay. like, but I will take people like my height or taller. So what's up what's outside of height? What's the next? What's the next thing? Like, damn, I'll fuck this dude. I like. I told you, I like shoes. I like teeth. I like humor. I like eyes. The things like I catch my attention real fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, oh, I damn. need to ta- be able to talk I'll to you. I'll start thinking dirty thoughts. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I mean, She's what? She's being honest. A female She's doesn't honest. think dirty thoughts like Amanda's like, damn, what I do to that ass? Yeah. She's like, true. That's what I thought when I said, damn, he's sorting my I mean, a lot of girls act like, like they don't I'll have those thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those girls that act like that. Yeah. So. Like, oh, but we know you're thinking dirty thoughts. Okay. But, like, I'm yeah. going to sit on that face. <laughs> Make him something. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> She's like, I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> She's like, but if he don't, can't breathe, it's all right. <laughs> Just tap. You know, I tap three times. <laughs> you got a safe oh. word. Oh my gosh. But like, yeah, I want to be able to have a conversation with you. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, okay. It, so not so much a physical, as long as he's tall and I am keep not, conversation. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I'm not that fit about. So you don't care if he's fit, out of shape. You know okay, listen, I don't. There is a she said, I mean, there I is some so stipulation. Cool that body, listen, that, hey, that yeah. bod is something that I yeah, put your like foop on my stomach. <laughs> that bod, I do. Okay. I like. Give me those man chichis. Oh man. <laughs> and you got that baseball ass. Bring it over here. Uh, my okay. gosh, where you can balance a cup on it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> tick, 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 tick. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but like, no, like I like it. We are UPS women, by the way. Okay. We see these men come and go. Okay. But like personally, I like it. Like my ultimate, if I had to like yeah, pick, yeah, one, pick one. Is someone that looks like they work out. Okay. But they don't so skip no meals. Pit. They don't skip no meals. He don't have to have the six pack, but he got to be built. Yeah, like at least like you t- look like you take care of yourself. Okay. Like okay. you go out to the gym once in yeah. a great while. So. Okay. Like, you don't have she to don't be. She's like, I don't give a shit. I'm going to lay down with her, whatever. She don't care. I'll be like, hey, boy, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Your mama cook free? I cook better. <laughs> I was like, the thing is, at this point, like, working so hard, like, at, to get to where I'm at, like, I definitely want someone that does care about themselves, yeah, okay. you know? Cause, Are like, you, still, you still working out? Or? I'm still working now, good? and I'm still trying I'm to, like, not. cut. I'm eating those tacos. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching her work out. Though, too, but I, I work out eat. my chin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, just keep it in one thousand. Like. <laughs> oh, my God. But, like, yeah, like, I love eating, though. Like, it's good. I love eating. Who doesn't like to eat? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like to eat food. Oh, just, okay, never mind. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, she did on something else, huh? Food <laughs> is uh, great to uh, eat. Yeah. <laughs> Hamburgers. Yeah. yeah. No. All right, so this this will actually go down to our last two questions. Go ahead. All right, let's see. Um, what's the worst, like the absolute worst date that you've been on? Like, oh, hell no, nah, this dude ain't gonna She a has chance. a good story. She I looks like she's it. thinking. So. Think. Like, why did I come here and he, I ain't. This dude better lose <laughs> my like, Fuck this. I, ain't, right. I shouldn't have did this shit. I have it recently, too. Oh, shit. Oh, the shine okay. is on you, so girl. So you're going to know who she's talking about. So. You know who you, you are. This. You know who you Let's hear this. Are. Oh, my God. No, like, this man tried but did not fucking try. Oh, like, oh, my uh-oh. God. Uh-oh. So he asked. he's been asking me for, like, three weeks. Go out on a date. What made you just say, all right, fuck it. Were you the bored? Persistency. Hungry? Or were you just like, oh, she's actually, like, I want tacos. <laughs> she's like, it was Taco Tuesday, I so I was like, world. fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I just left the gym. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> so, like, he kept on asking yeah. me, and I was like, okay, I'll go on a date with you. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, the Punchable Social up in Victoria Gardens. Okay. I really like their fries. Who don't? That's the main reason why okay. I accepted this date. So he said the right place to eat. <laughs> the right place, and they got the good fries. Okay. <laughs> Oh. So, oh, but like the fact that he asked like a week ahead mm-hmm. to, I was like, he was taking all of this in consideration, but the main focus was the price. Okay. But like, <laughs> he asked the, like a week advance. So I was like, okay, like at least he's not like asking like a day of or the day before, like it's springing out of, out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. So he gave me a chance to prepare. I was like, okay, I'll see you this Saturday at the Punchbowl Social. And he's like, cool. So we showed up there, and that's it. Like, we showed up there, and then we, like, we were just talking, and um, the man ordered a fucking water. We're at a bar. Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> so I, we're here. We pulled up to the bar, and I was like, I passed him a menu. I'm looking through. He Bartender closes it. Com- no, I'll just take a water. Oh my god, it do! I was like, what the fuck? First of all, I'm thinking that the you're alcohol would help you relax. <laughs> he was being shy, okay? Give him no, some on, class. That's bullshit. Come on, yeah. So, yeah, I try to look over that. So, <laughs> the guy bartender comes over and he's like, oh, what do you want? I order a drink. He orders water. She orders like, like three shots. <laughs> <laughs> she like, man, I'm going to need to get tipsy for this one. <laughs> well, so, I got me a drink and then we're dr- I'm like drinking and trying to talk to him. Mm. And like, I feel like. Can he, he hold the conversation like a young one? He's afraid to hold eye contact. What he was just like. And the water wasn't helping. <laughs> <laughs> he thought those were shots of tequila. So I was like, okay, the man is nervous. Like, give him a chance. Okay. Like, don't be rude. And I ordered some fries, and the bartender's like, oh, um, so are you going to try to put this on the tab or anything? Mm-hmm. And he's just there like. I was like, are you kidding <laughs> like me? He was just dead quiet, he was just quiet looking at you. He looked at you? <laughs> wow. I was man, you corny. Oh man! Wow. So I should have. So how, how long was it silent? Like, what did you? I was like, it wasn't that long because I mean, I get embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Like, because I like first of all, in my head, I was like, when he said that, and there was a silence. I'm like, how are you gonna go on a date with no fucking money? Mm. But I was like, man. I had you got my water. Right that was there. more than enough. Said. <laughs> that that should have been a red flag. Right? I, was like, I, was I can't like, afford I a drink, <laughs> so I'm gonna get the free water. Yes, thank you. 
Yeah. So I was like, well, I'm going to get And I was like, I got So I right gone. away in your head, you were like, oh, I'm out of here. Like, no, I, w- I should have. Should have went you to the bathroom. Like, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Call the Uber. I need to finish my fries. I ordered the damn fries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the question. I had to say. We're, 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 like, we're the fries worth the date. The, the fries was pretty good. Was it worth the date, though? No, it wasn't. The man ate my fries. <laughs> he <laughs> ate your fries, too? Come on, man. After Another one. Right, these ladies done. been picking them all wrong. I was done with them. Oh, wow. The thing is, because I was like, you know hey, what? Hey, man, you're, you're fucking to- corny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting it be known. Yeah. That's that's yeah, corny shit. Over here. Too. So do I. Yeah, yeah. Don't I'm, worry. Like, I promote the shit out of this. Hell yeah. What's his yeah. name again? I don't, even, I don't even remember his name. Yeah, see? <laughs> that's how bad it was, man. Fucking corny, bro. But, like, so I got my fries. I already ordered it. The fries are coming. And that's when I mean, they asked for the tab. Here, they right? dropped the fries in. off. They asked for the tab. So yeah. I'm like, I'm going to enjoy my damn fries that I am paying for. Wow. <laughs> like nine ninety nine. Wow. I am not going to have you ruin my day with these fries. <laughs> right when he reached over, you should have... <laughs> oh no, he sat there. He sat there like a the good fuck lad. Are you doing, bro? <laughs> he sat there like a good boy. Like, okay, talk. Wow. Wow. Okay, now you gonna... gotta tell us. His ethnicity was what? Yeah, what race is he? Nigerian. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. He's, like, he's American, but like. I thought Nigerian him. men were like very good to women. Well, he was being Maybe. a good listener. He was. <laughs> yeah, he was a good <laughs> There you go. He's good at smoking, I mean. So. Uh, like, but like yeah, it was a really bad day. Okay. Um, I was trying to finish my fries. Like he, there was no. Did conversation. he? Uh, did he? After that, was all over. Did he even try to hit you up again after that? Like hey, he's, he's like, to this day, he's still trying. To- Come on, man. Man, you want corny. You, you turned him on to the fries, so you're trying to get some more fries. He's like, shit, let's go. You ate those fries pretty well, my love. <laughs> I'm getting those fries unless he pays for them. Like, How many man, dips you are you putting in the ranch? Oh, so what about, shit. what's your story? I, I don't have actual. You don't go on dates? It could be it could be before the marriage. It could be straight straight to the house. Straight to the house. Netflix no, and chill, actually, I'm telling you. I, I don't wait for the house. I go straight to the car. What are you talking about? Jesus Christ. No, actually, I think I declined more than I actually go out. I haven't. I'm telling you, I did yeah. not date any guy for two, almost like two years after right. my marriage. Okay, so say so you don't have no dates, we're going to make it the last question. I think I'm the worst date ever. Everyone's, everyone's has this last question. Okay. What's your worst sexual experience? <gasps> This guy ain't getting it no more. She has I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have laid down. I, know, I just said that. Everything. I shouldn't have took my pants off for yeah. this. Why am I letting him do this? All right. I do not like getting eaten out. What? I hate it. I've tried it multiple times. Mm. I never liked it. Last guy I got with, I think I fucking faked every time about it. She's like, why did you, why you still let him if, you don't, if that's not your good deal? Huh? Because he wouldn't him? stop. He always wanted to go in there and eat. And I'm like, I guess. Was he bad at it? No. Just don't like it. I don't find a sexual pleasure to it, and I'm oh, not the okay, only. I'm not the only female okay, out there about, that does not find outside, it. What, what about outside of oral sex? Wherever you ever had that, just bad sex. He didn't stroke it right, not big enough. Whatever. Like, what's the story? Well, I have one. <laughs> Every girl has one. I have not <laughs> I have, have let this one. panel oh without a girl god. having one. Every girl I has have one. one too, Billy. Go for it. Oh my god! So oh. again at the workplace. Listen, no Was this the fry guy? The the she keeps on turning around. Like how many? How many work dudes? <laughs> okay, let's go. Like, this is like after years after the recent or the like, yeah. other guy from the okay. workplace, and I liked them before I actually liked the first guy. Okay, and I was like, oh my god, this is crazy! I had the crush on my little bit. Mm, okay, so. Here so we are. You finally, like, I'm gonna drop my panties are, real quick. No, I'm like, I am. If he hits me up, yeah. So he's one of those dudes. Like, man, he comes across. I'm no, gonna I, get I, it. Okay. I am. Yeah. He is. Yeah, so, like, I'm about to take that thong off. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, hold on real quick. Hey, why does every girl say like, "Man, he was so gorgeous," <laughs> and it end up being the most terrible uh, sex? It always ever happens to me because you know I what? Swear. You fantasy. You know, is, you know what's worse? Like the fantasy about them. Up. I know. Like we've had like this, we've had so a lot of yeah. So let's say like, like you're oh, like he's so we're, we're in the twenties now in interviewing girls and like every girl that has like a bad story always says, "Man, he was so yeah." Fine. Now, now he was so fine until yeah, like until the fight with happens. <laughs> you totally see him a different way. Okay. You're like, oh. so, so what made it bad? So, oh my God. So, like, the guy that I liked for the long time, mm-hmm. like, finally hit me up. And I'm like, okay. 
I am so down, like, whatever. Mm. She was down. <laughs> down in the DMs. He, he, I, he said that I made him nervous. Mm. And Did you know? He couldn't get it up. Oh, yeah. he had whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, is it? I'm like, I feel so Did you, good. You didn't even try to. You didn't try to suck him I up. You tried. To help him I like, tried. So, so you even sucked him up and he still couldn't? Yeah. I was like, you know what? So you just, had a, so you just had a gummy worm in your so, mouth. That was it? No, I was she just like, straight, I like, I straight spaghetti I, noodles. I was like, you know what? I was so <laughs> mad. I was like, is it? Like, at least be honest with me. Is this something that I do? Like, like, just be mm. honest, because, like, if I'm doing something, like, I felt genuinely concerned. <laughs> uh, I was, like, if I was, like, actually affecting this person uh, in a certain way. And so even even giving him oral couldn't make him hard. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, that's a new I one. Was thing. We ain't have that I mean, I was she's so not the only female that's gone yeah. through that. There's a lot of females. That's so you had that experience also? Yeah. You couldn't get a guy hard looking him up? I think he, my ex-husband couldn't get hard after knowing that I slept with someone else. He freaked out. I don't know. Or you're having another female in mind. Is I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Nah, because I, I, I'll say me being a guy and you tell me that story. You're a guy. I'm probably, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna like not being being your guy. That I would, I would turn it up though. I would probably like try to knock it out the box better mm -hmm. than the last dude. That honestly. Yeah, but like I would. Like, not oh, he smashed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that's how I would be doing. I, I wouldn't let that disturb my shit. But. Yeah, I don't know what caused something like that. He like that's something that he wasn't honest with me mm. about. It if it is something mm -hmm. that I did, and then probably so did he ever get a second chance? To redeem himself? I gave him a second chance. And don't tell me it happened like, two times in a row. No, I just stopped. I was like, that it happened again. It happened again. Off. It happened I, again. No, 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 I was. Turned oh, off. I was like, what? She couldn't handle her onion booty. Uh, okay. type of that should have been a reason for him to get up. What the fuck? Like getting turned off. It was like how he was like. The way he was dirty talking, like, mm. I was just like, Kira, you already talked yourself up so much, and you Damn. failed the first time, Damn. and now you're trying to talk it up again, like, oh, yes. I can't, like a loss. and I was like, I can't, and, like, it just ruined the whole thing, like, I had, I, like, you built yourself up to me, mm. and talk about all this, like, oh, yeah, I do this, I'm like, this. Why do guys do that? No, no. And then, it's like, they, they set now themselves you, up for I failure. Have you. I want you to that. do that. To That's me. probably why he couldn't get it up because he talks so much fucking shit and you like. Darwin's What's your story? I don't think I have many stories. You gotta have a bad sexual. She just had a bad sexual experience. A very bad. bad that was horrible. Who didn't? Who, who didn't hit it right? Somebody time. didn't hit There's it right. Not everybody. Person that be like, you know what? Fuck! You guys have me have thinking. Let me see. Oh. There was not one experience. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about this. Okay, so in high school, me and my ex at the time lost our virginities together mm -hmm. as we got older he was like hey i got better <laughs> 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 i couldn't help but laugh uh, because he yeah, said i, I got better yeah. I mean, man you corny i'm Rex. like what is better about this it's the same <laughs> so it's the same shit oh, oh it's the same or worse i love you yeah. you know who you are <laughs> He's still my friend to this day. Oh, my God. Man. Back yeah. to the friend zone you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I don't it's think like, you're coming wait, out of the friend zone again. Where did guy. you get better? Because, like, uh, it felt the same. <laughs> So you put my legs the same way. Oh my god! Oh, even the same position. Doing? What yeah, the fuck? Exactly the same. Come on, exact man. Same? How many years later? Oh, we were. Every man I was twenty years something. Years huh? Every man what? Six years later, six years later and like, still like, the same. Like, I mean, we're thirty three like, and we're still friends to this day. But like, I always remember that. Fact no, but but when he came back and you gave him a second chance, when it was the same? Did he oh my hit god, twice? It was the same shit. Let's just say that. Same shit. Did you let him keep on smashing them? Hell no. That was it. Like, I was like, man. I didn't even meet C-U-M. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, come on, well, that, man. That, I had that question right here. Have you ever had to finish yourself off after sex? I have. And I think yeah. he got upset. I went straight into the shower, and I thought the radio was loud enough not to hear the vibrator, but obviously it sounded like a barbershop in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Another one. Oh he was so. God. What are you doing in there? I'm shaving. Shit. I was out. like, oh god, get. Oh, you're like, oh, I was about to finish. Oh, man. <laughs> no, like. That's all bad. All right. I like. That's, so you have to. I have uh, that happened to me before, and then I stopped. 
I like I started being honest about it because I realized like a lot of women are not honest. Yeah, that when a sure. man is not doing a good so job. So you're not yeah, you're not improving him, especially if you're letting him think that he's doing the, the yeah, job. Yeah, so right, that's what I say a lot yeah. of guys think that's that's sad. you're enabling him the bad sex. So. He yeah. thinks he's the best sex that they, we've we've ever, ever had. had. Walking out the room like, like I was like, man, I'm like, like uh, no. Just because it's your favorite position, it's not mine. So, oh, shit. So, yeah, I started being more oh, honest. You want to put me yeah. sideways? For uh, what? That's sideways. your position, not yeah. mine. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I with the person I'm, like, yeah. with right now, mm-hmm. like, I'm very more, I'm, I'm a lot more communicative. So, is he, is he hitting it right? right? Yes, he is. Okay. Hey, do you see how happy she is? Okay. She uh, sees butterflies everywhere. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, yes, he's doing a good job. Do you, so. have a, do you have a Sancho right now that's tapping? Or? I've been single. No, I know you're single. No, I'm not... T- I'm, I'm the adamant person that I still don't have sex with people. Oh. Yeah, like, uh-huh. it's just, I'm not seeing anybody at all. Like, uh-huh. I'll be three months single next month. Okay. Not touching anyone. Yeah. All right. Like all right. Well, choice. this will probably be released soon. You probably Your DMs will probably fill up mm. even more after I mean, this. I mean, they do, <laughs> but it's not like that I care. It's just like I feel bad for men that put themselves out there like that. Too too thirsty. What, too thirsty. I, I can't try. What if the one never see you? Like you never know. The like, one for what? <laughs> giving me something? Yeah, at least get I'm like, say, it goes down in the DM. <laughs> <laughs> it go down in your own DM, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. So next time, everybody, <laughs> BBC podcast, we out. Yeah.